My name is Shane Nyquist and I'm on a mission to break the electric streamliner motorcycle land speed record. I've been building this for about three years now and I'm getting ready to run and one of the things I'm concerned about is tire clearance. Now there's two reasons I don't want this tire to hit the swing arm. Um, the first main one is it'll probably explode, but the second one is these are expensive tires. They're Goodyear Eagle land speed racing tires and you know they're not rated at 300 but this is what people tell you to buy to go 300 miles per hour. Luckily I have an electric motor here so all I have to do is jack the bike up and spin it up. Um, but that just seems a little sketchy. I haven't really balanced these wheels or anything so part of these tests will be to see how true the wheel is, how true the tire is, and how close it's actually getting to the swing arm. So fingers crossed nothing bad happens but I'm a little nervous. Now there's been something that's been on my list for a long time so hopefully we can get some information about how much the tire actually grows. I've had some conflicting information from uh, some Facebook group members on the Land Speed forum and yeah i just want to figure it out so hopefully you guys will learn something along with me and uh yeah let's do this i actually spun this up the other day with my buddy dustin here and yeah take a look i smell it now yeah, we had some tire clearance problems that actually hit the swing arm around 220 miles per hour or so. Um, I think the first thing I'm gonna do to try and fix that is I'm gonna push the wheel back. I'm gonna add a link to it. And if that's an issue, I'm gonna add a half link to it, so. Okay, so as you guys saw, I added one whole link. Um, I actually bought a half link. I don't want to use it, but it looks like I'm gonna have to. I need to move that wheel back just enough. Um, another thing I was noticing that there was some witness marks on the ground right below the bike. So when I ran that initial test, might have been hitting the ground and not hitting the swing arm, but it was way too close to the swing arm anyway. So I'm gonna pull this whole link off, add a half link in, see if I can get chain tension where I want it. So let's see.
looks like we got about 33 millimeters of tire clearance. Okay, so around 300 miles per hour, I'm getting tire rev on the swing arm. Um, it's super light. It's super light. I mean, this is new, but um, it's not in that area. So it looks like we have an imbalance on this tire. What I could do, probably do is put a new one of these on too. I have a new tire. Okay, so that was super crazy. I was mad nervous to spin this thing up, but after putting the proper amount of PSI in there, I think we're good to go. It looks like we got about half inch of clearance between the swing arm and the tire, and our clearance is around an inch and a quarter static. So that leaves us with a sit three quarters of an inch tire swell at 300 miles per hour. That's absolutely insane. Now, I don't know if you guys saw it, but I saw a bunch of sparks coming off the wheel when we were spinning that thing up, and that was super concerning. But I think we're going to contribute that to having the, the bike up in the in the air when we're spinning the tire. That means that the swing arm is actually drooped and the chain isn't fully tensioned. But it looks like the chain's doing a lot of crazy stuff and I've never seen a chain go 300 miles per hour. I think we need to put chain guides on there so that... Things I want to take away from this is I think I have some tire issues with uh, the tire being a little bit out of balance. The wheel looks super straight. And at 300 miles per hour, there's minimal amount of vibration going through the bike, which means that it's pretty well balanced. Um, I'm going to do a final balance after I put a new tire on there. And yeah, I think we're good to go. So that's one thing off the list that I'm super stoked about. And let's move on to the next thing. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys had a great time. Subscribe. <laughs>